Hi, I'm Jennifer here with another Machine Minute brought to you by Baby Lock and the Symphony Machine. Sewing home deck is a great way to fall in love with fabrics and have fun decorating your home. But sometimes when you make pillows, do you find that you get these rabbit ears at the top corners, little pointy ends that you wish you could tuck in or make a little smoother and more straight across? And why is that even when you're sewing straight? Well, it has to do with when you stuff your pillow, it makes these rabbit ears pop up. But I can show you a trick for getting rid of those rabbit ears. Now, when you're sewing your pillows, chances are you're using either a quarter or a half inch seam allowance, and I've just drawn one with a quarter inch seam allowance here. But you're using that seam allowance sewing to a point at the corner where your seam allowance is equal. So here I pivoted at a quarter inch and then draw stitching lines for another quarter inch seam along this side. And it's perfectly square, but this is what's causing that rabbit ear to happen. I'll show you another way to pivot at the corners. What I do is put a dot at 3 8 inch if I'm using a quarter inch seam allowance. So just in about an eighth of an inch of where I was on that opposite corner. Then I draw two diagonal stitches. I know it seems counterintuitive that you're going to cut the point off and still end up with a perfect point on your pillow, but trust me, it works once you turn it right side out. So from that point, then at each side of my pillow, I draw a little line with a fabric marker that's at the quarter inch seam allowance, if that's what I'm using, and then I taper in to that diagonal line. I'll show you how that works. If this was my pillow top that I was going to be stitching on, I've drawn my dot here using my acrylic ruler and I would use a fabric marking pen. So I've placed that dot exactly where I want my pivot point to be. Then I'll just put two diagonal stitches on either side of that dot. I've already got my quarter inch seam allowance at each midpoint. So I'm simply going to rotate the fabric and use my ruler and there'll be a little bit of an angle and I'll just draw what will become my seam line and I'll sew right on that line. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And that way when I sit down to sew, I've got that corner where you can see it tapers in ever so slightly. Those two diagonal stitches and the slight taper will make sure that your pillow corners are rabbit ear free and you have perfect corners every time.